Every landscape photographer dreams of capturing beautiful sunsets. The clouds, shapes and colours in the sky at this time of day can add drama, mood and atmosphere to the scene. We are always chasing the light in the hope of finding a good sunset and are overjoyed when they happen. But rather than just heading out and hoping for the best, did you know that you can predict when a good sunset is likely to happen? In this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips to help you do this and help you go home with striking images full of color and beauty. Firstly, I must say, that it is impossible to 100% predict a good sunset. However, the tips you will learn in this video will set you on good stead to uncovering the secrets to predicting what may potentially happen as the sun begins to head towards the horizon. Really, the secret to predicting a good sunset is all in the weather. There are four factors you need to consider when looking at the forecast. These are cloud cover, air quality, humidity and wind speed. In order to predict these, it is a good idea to find yourself a good quality weather app or website that can tell you this information. There are a lot out there, but a few that I can recommend are Clear Outside and AccuWeather. These can give you detailed hourly reports, as well as weather predictions for the coming 10 days. Now that you've got your accurate weather forecast information, it's time to look closer at the factors we mentioned earlier, and how cloud cover, air quality, humidity and wind speed are important factors to consider when predicting what may happen at sunset. If you've been doing photography for a while, you will know that complete cloud cover results in pretty much a 0% chance of a sunset. Whereas no cloud cover can give you a nice orange glow, but there is no interest in the sky to create captivating photographs. Therefore, the best sunsets are those that have a reasonable amount of cloud cover in the sky. When looking at your weather app, ideally you want to head out when cloud cover is predicted to be between 30 and 70%. Looking at this further, it is important to remember that it is not the clouds themselves that cause a good sunset, but the way the light hits the clouds as it drops below the horizon. Therefore, the presence of clouds themselves doesn't guarantee a good sunset but rather the types of clouds that are present in the sky. The best clouds for catching the light are the high to medium level clouds. These can appear as thin wispy strands or on occasion can look like cotton wool balls. These are high enough in the sky to allow the light to reflect on them. Lower down clouds such as dense puffy clouds or low lying rain clouds generally don't allow light to pass through them or reflect on them, preventing any bright colours from being produced. I recommend observing the clouds a few hours before sunset. Although the clouds can change throughout the day, it can give you a good indication of the types of clouds that are present and what clouds may still be around when the sun begins to head towards the horizon. Clean air allows for light to scatter more easily, producing more vivid colours and a clearer view. The air is usually at its cleanest after rain or a windstorm. I'm sure many of you have seen this when out shooting on changeable weather days. The clarity after a rain shower can be striking. If you live in a highly polluted area, there's no doubt you will have seen how settled weather mixed with pollution causes haze in the air. This blocks out the light and mutes the colours, preventing a good sunset. It's always good to be mindful of this and to head out after rain or wind when the air tends to be fresher and clearer. Or get yourself to locations where the air quality tends to be cleaner. 
The humidity in the air can have a big impact on the colours at sunset. The less humid it is, the more colourful a sunset is likely to be. This is one of the main reasons why you tend to get more vibrant sunsets in the autumn and winter, when humidity is at its lowest, and less vibrant sunsets in the spring and summer, when humidity is at its highest. Although humidity is only one factor to consider, it is always worth taking note of it before you head out, as it can give you a good indication of the potential for colours. The lower the percentage, the better. The fourth and final factor to consider is the wind. Both the speed and direction of the wind can make or break a sunset. When you're out in the field, observe the direction of the wind and how the clouds are moving through the sky. This can help you to predict if there's a big blanket of cloud coming that may cover the horizon as the sunset approaches, or if the wind is blowing the clouds away and opening up the sky. When looking at your weather app, if you notice the wind direction changing in the hours before sunset, this can produce ripples or billows which can create a lovely effect in the sky that the sunset light can reflect on and add interest to your images. Furthermore, although it's not advised to be out in really windy conditions, a gentle breeze is perfect and can further enhance the sunset colours. As mentioned before, wind can improve air quality and reduce humidity too, so it is something to be mindful of. To recap, the best sunsets happen when there is a mid to high level clouds present in the sky. There is 30 to 70% cloud coverage, the air is clean, humidity is low and calm winds are present. Another thing to be mindful of is an open horizon. Even if you have lower down clouds or most of the sky is covered in clouds, Providing the horizon where the sun sets is open and clear from clouds, you can get great intense orange sunsets, especially by the coast and with a breeze. Do remember though, as I said at the beginning of this video, there really is no guarantee to getting a good sunset. But by looking at the factors mentioned, you can work out which sunsets might potentially be better than others. Ultimately though, you've got to be out there and in it to win it. We all know how unpredictable the weather can be, but when the forecasters get it right, we can be rewarded greatly. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time.